Hey everyone, it's Anthony and I'm here to give the too long didn't watch commentary for the game performance analysis for Genshin Impact with the 10100 and the GTX 1650 Super. In our testing we found that we can hit an average of 60 FPS on both 1440p high and 1080p high. At 4K, what you're seeing right now, we're hitting an average of 60 on 4K low with GPU headroom. So at medium, we see a little bit of dips at 59 FPS, and at high, we see 54 <laughs> frames per second average, but those can be mitigated by either overclocking your 1650 a little bit, or even changing the render scaling down to 0.8, or turning off anti-aliasing because at 4K, it might be negligible to have that enabled. So we also tested streaming for this game too at 4K resolution and 1440p and the FPS didn't really drop during those streaming, maybe like 3 or 4 FPS. But as you can see the CPU usage here is around 30 to 40 FPS uh, at 4K and while streaming the CPU usage bumps up to 60% so it's well within the range of the CPU and it's comfortable there. We streamed at 1080p software only, not with the NVIDIA encoder. And we streamed to YouTube with a webcam on through OBS. So if you're interested in streaming Genshin on this low end, uh, low spec system, it is perfectly capable of that. So as we are new YouTubers, we would appreciate like any feedback regarding our benchmark format and Getting a like, a comment, or a subscription would help us out a lot. And if you have any questions or any games or parts that you would love us to test, uh, let us know in the comments. And thank you for watching.
ちょっとビリビリさせないとこれはお仕置きやめた<笑>
させないうがちなさい。
ビリビリさせないとね。ないわよ。Thank、you